In this video, I will be answering these questions using the filter and subtotal functions in Excel. To activate filter, click somewhere in the data. Click the data tab. Click filter. To find the number of American cars, I'm going to click the add arrow for origin. Click select all to deselect it. Click American and click OK. You can see at the bottom left here that there are 70 American vehicles out of a total of 206 records. Note that if we use equals count here, you will be selecting the hidden columns along with the visible ones and Excel will return the total number of records, which is 206 in this case. I will be showing an appropriate approach later. To find what proportion are convertibles, I'm going to click the drop down on origin and clear filter from origin. Then click the drop down on type, uncheck select all, select convertible and click OK. You can see at the bottom left here that there are 22 records of convertibles out of 206. Therefore, the proportion is 22 over 206, which gives 10.68%. To find the proportion of Japanese vehicles that are SUVs, I'm going to clear filter from type, click on origin, uncheck select all, select Japanese, and click OK. You can see here that there are 55 records with Japanese cars. To determine how many of these are SUVs, I'll go to Type, uncheck Select All, and select SUV. Click OK. You can see here that we have 13 entries. Since there are 55 Japanese cars, the required proportion is therefore 13 over 55, which gives 23.64%. I'm going to clear filter from type and from origin. Next, I'm going to lock down the top row so I can see the titles while scrolling. I'll click view, freeze panes, and freeze top row. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and enter the answers to the remaining questions there. For the median mileage, I'm going to write justify, type equal median, Click on the last mileage value here, then Ctrl Shift up arrow to select the entire column. Enter. And that's the median mileage. For the mean mileage of German cars, I'm going to click the origin header arrow. Deselect all and select only German. Now, if I use equal average and select what appears to be the visible mileage data, Excel actually still includes the hidden data in that range, and the mean value obtained here is actually the mean mileage for the entire data. To restrict the calculation to the displayed data only, we can use the subtotal function. Listed here are the functions we can use and the numbers associated with each of them. The number associated with average is 1, so I can type 1 or double click on average to select it. Comma, Click the last mileage value and Control Shift up arrow to select the rest. Enter. And that gives us the mean mileage for German vehicles only. For the mean price of coupes, I'll go to Origin and clear filter from Origin. Then go to Type and select Coupe. Again, I'll use equal subtotal. One for average, comma, select the displayed price for coupes and enter. Finally, for the sample standard deviation of price for minivans, I'll go to type, uncheck coupe, and select minivan. Click OK. Again, equal subtotal. And we need a sample standard deviation formula, which is 7 in this case. So 7, comma, click the last price value, and Control shift up arrow to select the entire column data. Enter. And that's the sample standard deviation. Thanks for watching.